Video from Fort Myers where boats are on the shoreline and wedged between buildings. Take a look at this. Many downtown stores are simply destroyed and debris covers all the streets. The marina in Fort Myers is said to be one of the hardest hit areas in all of Florida. Investigator Masa Saidi is on the scene with some of the emotions after the storm. We're about eight miles from the barrier islands and all day long we've listened as Black Hawk helicopters go in and out carrying survivors and supplies. Meanwhile, here on the ground you can see that I'm standing in floodwaters and if you take a look, you see street after street, homes are gutted and lives are destroyed. It was scary. It was the worst feeling in the world. We felt helpless. Is your family okay? Did everyone survive? My mom wound up in the hospital. She, they released her. Tears flowing down her face. Charity Bent recounted the day of terror. Locked down as Hurricane Ian battered the only place she's ever called home, Lee County. My mom had two feet of water in her apartment or in her house. My grandma's house was destroyed. These are houses that I've lived in my whole life. Now Charity's entire family is displaced. The day the Cat 4 storm hit, Frank Cody evacuated his mobile home park. Before he returned, for the very first time, he stopped to tell me about his neighbors. It's a proud community. Very proud people. Beautiful park. Well kept out. I'm very surprised to see what it is. I'm so sorry. Uh, no, they all know I'm a big crybaby. <laughs> I walked with Frank through the water to get to his home. Mud and the smell of rot covered everything. Frank and his family were only able to salvage some pictures and a few bags of clothes. The 85-year-old waded through water, leaving his old life behind. It's going to be a long road. It definitely is going to be a long road. Where will you go? Oh, I don't know.